Yo, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Or if you are new here, hello, my name is Jackson. I am a full-time reseller and I run a YouTube, Instagram, and Depop called Loveless Vintage. Now I mainly resell clothes. As you guys can see, I'm in my closet right now and these are all personal shirts that I have. I am addicted to vintage t-shirts and that's what got me into buying and selling, reselling clothes. So that's what I do full-time. I do it as a job. So in this video, I kind of wanted to just jump into 2021 basically just making a video as if it was the first time someone came onto my channel so basically we're gonna do what i do almost every day as work which is thrift so i'm gonna take you guys along with me to some retail thrift stores tomorrow it is actually like 10 45 i'm looking at my clock right now it's like 10 45 at night i'm about to go down and pack all my orders for the day and i thought that i would just shoot the intro of this right now and kind of show you guys maybe my outfit and what i was gonna wear tomorrow and then in the morning, we will just get a whole day's worth of shopping. I'll show you guys everything I get and what I hope to sell them for and stuff like that. So let me pick something out of this gigantic closet that I will wear tomorrow and I will show you guys what that will be. So this is what I have been rocking all day. I've basically just been home all day doing Instagram and Depop stuff, which is where I sell all my stuff. So I'm in chill clothes, just these like baggy paint splatter rustler I think they're called denim jeans that I got at the Goodwill outlet and then some Birkenstocks and this like animal rights cruelty free crew neck sweatshirt and yeah that's basically all I'm wearing right now so I'm gonna pick out something to wear tomorrow and I will show you guys what that is right now so I think this is what we're gonna be rocking tomorrow. I guess you could say I'm going for the cozy workwear look. I do live in the Pacific Northwest and it is rainy and cold right now. So I do wanna be comfy and cozy while I'm thrifting. So I have this vintage flannel on. I have this Depop top seller hoodie, which if you were a Depop top seller and you met your goals for this challenge they were doing, they gave it to you for free. So thank you Depop. And then I have some paint splatter. These are just Dickies, like white Dickies that I cropped. I also found these at the Goodwill outlet. They were all paint splattered like this and I just really like them. So I've been wearing them a ton and I cropped them myself. And then I have some bootleg designer socks and then these are my favorite shoes that I found recently. These are just like some Nike. They're kind of like SB looking, but I love the colors. They're like tan and brown and pink. And yeah, this is what we're gonna be rocking with tomorrow. If you aren't new to the channel, you know that I bought a house late last year and I finally started putting some stuff on the walls. There is my vintage The Crow poster and here is a gigantic Morrissey poster tour 1990 91 honestly I bought this on eBay like five years ago and I think it was like $30 and I had no idea how big it was it is ginormous so I finally hung that up yesterday I have a ton of orders on the ground right here all from Depop and I had a story sell on Instagram if you guys don't follow me on Instagram loveless.vintage on Instagram I'll leave it up on the screen right now I post every single day if I go thrifting I'll post like everything I find like the coolest stuff I find so go through me a follow right now also drop a like on this video and a comment I respond to like all the comments and consider subscribing if you do like this content like I said I'm expecting a lot of new people to be watching this video if you've never Ever seen my videos before really appreciate it if you subscribe so I'm going to go ahead and pack all of these orders right here and I will see you guys in the morning when we start our thrift trip let's do it Good morning. So first off, we are going to go drop off my packages. I dropped them off at a UPS store. They also take USPS packages, which is how I ship all of my orders out. So we're gonna go do that. Oh yeah, it's like 9.20 right now. I normally wake up at like 10 or 10.30, not even gonna lie. But on days that I do need to go source or go thrift, I do wake up around 8 or 8.30. So I woke up at 8.40 today. Most of the local thrifts around me actually don't even open till 10. There's only a few that open at 9. So I'm going to drop these off and then head to one of the ones that opens at 9 and hope that it's open and hope that it doesn't actually open at 10 because then we'll just be waiting. But yeah, I picked out about, I think, eight stores. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit all of them. I have a prior engagement going on at 6 that I need to be home for. It's like 9.20 right now. So. So we're just gonna go drop off my packages, see how many stores we can hit. I'm gonna take you guys along with me and we will see what we get and hopefully we'll find some great stuff today. So let's go. 
Also for breakfast, we are having this Lenny and Larry's complete cookie. I love these cookies. They have a lot of fiber and protein in them and they are plant-based, which is dope because I'm vegan. And yeah, I'm just gonna eat this big ass cookie and drink a lot of water and we will get to it. Okay, we just dropped off our packages at the UPS store, which is behind me. I wanted to get a clip of me walking in all cool and put my phone on this little guy right here and stand it up so you guys can see me walking in and walking off my packages but someone took my parking spot so we're going to go to the first store right now smash the like button for some good luck let's put it out into the universe i honestly have a feeling about today i have a good feeling i never really go to retail stores if you watch other videos on my channel i normally go to the goodwill outlet so i don't really have that much luck but then people will beg to differ that i do have some good luck in retail thrift stores because i have found some really good stuff recently anyways let's go to the first store All right, first store, let's go. Closed. Probably open at 10. Oh yeah, 10. We're a little early. We got our first find of the day. It's this behemoth all over print tea. This is crazy. It says Demigod on the back. I actually really like this band. And yeah, it's $5. I'm definitely gonna scoop it. I think I could get like maybe 30 or more for it. It's just a crazy tea. And yeah, five bucks. It's so quiet in here. There's no one in here and it doesn't look like they restocked or recovered from last night. So that's not a good sign, but we're gonna keep looking. But for now, this is the first find. Got this Levi's jean jacket, but it is $20. It's way too much for like a new Levi's jean jacket for personal maybe, but nah, it's just way too expensive for a resale. I'd maybe get like 30, 35 bucks for this. So I'm gonna pass on that. Another cool find, it is a Tommy jeans long sleeve stripe. Like look at the color, super dope, but they want ten dollars for it honestly tommy has kind of taken a dip in the market and it's not worth as much as it used to be so i'm probably not going to grab this because i feel like the most i could probably get for it is maybe thirty dollars and all of a sudden it's super loud in here so sorry if you can't hear me but yeah i don't think i'm gonna get this it's really cool though but 10 bucks just like too much so I've been in here about like 15 minutes and I'm gonna leave because look, it, it has not been recovered at all from the night before and I did get some clips, but yeah, it hasn't been recovered, which means it definitely hasn't been restocked. So there's probably nothing new that wasn't here yesterday or the day before. So I'm just gonna leave with my one find that I have and go into the next stores. All right, and we're out of that first store. Not completely unsuccessful because we did get that one tea. Not a great tea. Like I said, I think I might be able to get like $30 or something for it. It is like this death metal band and it's kind of like a niche little market, but the shirt is really cool and it's definitely older. So I did grab it for $5. Like I said in the last clip, if you heard me though, they had not recovered from the night before, which normally means they haven't restocked or done anything to the store. So I decided to just not spend a lot of time in it and move on to our next store. So let's go to the next store right now. Also, I don't think I'll regret it, but just in case I do, let me explain it a little bit more. The reason why I didn't grab the Tommy long sleeve, the Tommy jeans, Tommy Hilfiger long sleeve, whatever you want to call it. Colors are really sick, definitely vintage from like the 90s, early 2000s, whatever. But like, y'all got to understand if you do this full time, me spending $10 to maybe make 30, like eventually on an item is just not a good investment, especially when the place that I normally do thrift is so much cheaper. It weighs by the pound and a pound of clothing is like a dollar or something. So in my mind, paying $10 for a shirt to maybe sell it for 30 eventually is just not a good deal. If it was a quick flip or like someone hit me up immediately and they were like, yo, I'll give you 30 for it, then I'd pick it up. But I just put it on my story just to be like, yo, thrift stores are charging $10 for a long sleeve shirt. like. 
Thrift store prices honestly are getting insane. That's why I like going to the Goodwill outlet because it's just consistent. No matter how good of an item is or how bad it is, you pay the same price essentially. So we're gonna keep it going though and we're gonna keep a positive attitude and find some really good stuff. So let's go. All right, we're about to step up in the next Goodwill, which honestly, I've never ever been to this Goodwill. It's kind of like out in the boonies, it's not in the boonies, but it's out like in the country, like pretty far back. So I've never been to this Goodwill. It's like 40 minutes away from my house. So we're gonna step up into this one. And I actually was doing some research on that behemoth shirt that I found in the last thrift. I think it's gonna be a way better find than I thought it was. So I found an all over print shirt from their 2002 album and it sold on eBay for $200 or best offer. So they didn't get 200. They could have even got like 50 or a hundred bucks, but honestly like $200 or best offer in a sold comp on eBay is insane. So the shirt I got is from their 2004 album. I'm not exactly sure if it's actually from 2004. There was no tag. I need to do a little bit more digging, but I did find a similar one from a later album up on Depop for 60. So I'm honestly thinking I could probably at least get $60 for that shirt, which I wasn't expecting. I was thinking honestly like 30 bucks or something. So anyways, that's just the reseller side of it. Me being a full-time reseller, but let's step up in this Goodwill and see if we can get some good stuff. Like I said, I've never been to this one before, so I'm kind of excited. Let's go. It's also right next to my favorite thing, which is Dollar Tree. God, I love Dollar Tree. No luck, no luck at all. So let's keep it moving. So yeah, unsuccessful. It was really small and their men's section was especially small. So let's go to the next store. I think I still have like six stores left. So hopefully we actually find some stuff and I'll try to get some more footage of me just like looking in stores and stuff to kind of give you guys a look at what I'm looking at, what I'm looking for, stuff like that. So let's go to the next store. So I'm flipping a Yui right now because I saw a thrift store, like a really small one, and it just said thrift store. <laughs> and I saw some racks of clothing out in front of it. Lots of really cool, colorful stuff, honestly. I mean, this is sick. How much is this? Nine bucks. That's dope, though. I might grab that. All right. Well, that was an interesting little stop at a thrift store. So I'll show you guys what I got, actually. I'm right by this like noisy ass highway. So I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to hear me, but essentially I saw this thrift store off the side of the road and it just said thrift store with like signs pointed to it. And I saw racks of clothing outside. So I decided to go in and I've never been here before. As soon as I walked in, they like greeted me, told me where everything was. They said that they've been open for six years, which is pretty crazy. Now their prices, uh, pretty bad. I did buy three things, but they were all a little bit higher price than I would want to spend on them. But at least all of them, I know I'll be able to double up my money on, which is what I'm looking for. Basically my baseline is being able to double up. And if I'm not having to spend like 10 to 15 to $20 on an item, like if I spend five bucks to maybe make 15 or 20, I'll definitely do it. Obviously more than a double up, but they did have some good stuff in there. They definitely kind of knew what was up. They had some things labeled vintage. They had some things priced at eBay price. Like I showed in some of the clips, some of the Pendleton, that Pendleton new with tags at 45 bucks is like definitely an eBay price, but I did get three things I'll show you guys. I know I'm going to be able to make money off of them. 
awesome. They were super, super nice. They're an independently owned small thrift store. So I just decided like, hey, I wanted to buy some things. Like as soon as I set foot in the door and I talked to them, I was like, I need to buy like one thing. I just wanted to, you know, support them. They're a local business. Obviously they have it hard during COVID and everything. So I decided to buy a few things from them. Probably won't make a ton of money on them, but I just wanted to support them because they're really nice. And they said they'll be getting more clothes soon. They actually said they're going to dedicate another part of the store to clothing because they said it's been doing really well. So let me show you guys what I got. I definitely spent more time in there than I wanted to. I also got a DVD. It is called Reincarnation. It's on my watch list and I haven't seen it yet. And they only wanted $1 for the DVD. So I got this. This first item I got, I showed you guys, is this Polo Sports Spell Out logo tee. Definitely really cool, really good color. And it is a 2XL. This will probably get like at least $30 for and they wanted eight for it. She took the prices off, but they wanted eight for it. I thought that wasn't a bad deal. Honestly, if I saw this in a Goodwill for like $7.99, I'd probably pick it up anyways next we got this really cool colorful it kind of looks like a wrangler it's like a button-up like neon kind of patterned aztec button-up long sleeve shirt and yeah honestly i normally sell these for like 30 bucks on depop i didn't even look at the tag yeah size small but yeah just really cool colors and i think they wanted six dollars for this one so i decided to grab it this one uh, i was pretty on the fence about but i decided to get it it was nine dollars i honestly wish it was six like the other one but look how freaking sick this is it's just like a color blocked button up like kind of long sleeve it looks like a wrangler again it looks like a wrangler like cowboy shirt but it's like so sick it's got this like blue green this red this purple this pink i couldn't leave it for nine bucks i think again i'll probably get like 30 maybe a little bit more for it but i couldn't leave it so i think with the dvd and everything and after tax it was like 24 bucks or something so not a bad deal 24 bucks for four items one of them being a movie that i'm just going to keep but yeah i definitely think that it was worth it and i was very stoked to find a new little thrift shop all right, it's already noon and I've only been to three stores. So I got to pick up the pace a little bit if I want to get home by six. So I'm about to set foot in another Goodwill that I have not been to since I was literally like 14, I think. Maybe like 15, 16. I remember coming here when I could like first start driving and I used to go to thrift stores on the weekend all the time, but I haven't been here in years. So let's go find some amazing stuff. All right, before I set foot in this Goodwill right over here, which like I said, I have not been to in years, Shout out this smoke in grocery store. There's a skate park like right over there. And literally when I was like 12 to 14 or 15, I would come here every day and buy in Arizona. Every single day I'd come here and buy an Arizona to drink when I was skateboarding over at that skate park. So shout out this smoke and grocery store. I'm so stoked that they're still in business. Okay, another Goodwill that's right next to a Dollar Tree. Come on, there has to be something in here for me. Literally the first shirt I lay my hand on is a $5 made in USA all over print Reno tee. Definitely gonna be scooping that up. Fellow X scene kids unite. I used to love Bring Me the Horizon. I used to love them. Oh my God, I used to love this band. Jesus, wow. Just found this revenge tee looking for revenge summer 16 on the back this is like a drake revenge collab it's size i think small no it's size medium it's five bucks we're gonna scoop this i think on grail they sell for like 50 so definitely gonna grab that So I just scooped this house VHS for my roommate. He collects horror VHS and he doesn't have this one. So I'm gonna grab this for him. And then besides that, yeah, we just have this revenge tee, which is actually just a Drake tee. I said it was like a collab with the brand, but it's definitely not, it's just like a tour tee. And then we got that all over print, like Reno tee. So we're gonna hop out of this Goodwill now and go to the next one. I will say that this Goodwill has so much women's stuff though. Like so much women's stuff compared to men's stuff. It did have like a good little selection of men's stuff, but I'll honestly probably look through some of the women's stuff. They have so much stuff. This is so sick. I wish it didn't have like shoulder pads, but this is like a dope USA Olympics. Like I just love the colors, but shoulder pads and $13. Can't do that. Also, I showed a 
Nike windbreaker earlier. If it had like a big swoosh on the back or just a bigger embroidered swoosh on the chest, I would get it. But for 10 bucks, I'd maybe make 30 maybe on it, more like 25, so I'm not gonna grab that one today. So this is back in the kids section. This is definitely not kids. It's a reprint and they want five bucks for it. So I'm not gonna scoop it because I feel like I'd maybe get 15, maybe 20, but I'm just not gonna scoop it. And then this is also in the kids section. Also a reprint, they want six bucks, but yeah, definitely not kids. It's a men's medium. So check the kids section. I always do it five time. All right, three things. One thing for my roommate, not too bad. Some of those things in there I definitely would have got for personal, but I mainly just shop to resell. I have so much personal stuff that I don't really need personal stuff unless I find crazy stuff. So like that Pink Floyd tee, you guys are probably like, why didn't you grab that? It was like five bucks because I could maybe sell it for 20 if that. So I just didn't grab it. But yeah, we got like three more spots, I think. So let's get into them. Okay, stop number four, I think. Go. So we got a good one. We got this UC Santa Cruz Banana Slugs 1997 crew neck sweatshirt. This is from Pulp Fiction. He's wearing a tee or I think a tank top of this. So it's pretty popular, so I'm gonna grab this. I've had a shirt before, and I think it went for like 20 bucks. I think the crew neck, I could probably get more. They're asking eight. I think I could probably get like 30, 40 bucks for it, so I'm gonna skip it. All right, we're out of there with our one find. That one sweater, I paid like almost nine bucks for it, and it does have like a big stain on it that I kind of just noticed, but I still think I can get like 30 bucks for it, so I decided to pick it up, so maybe not my most confident buy of the day but it is a really cool sweater and i didn't see a lot of sweaters of it i saw a lot of shirts of it so i decided to pick it up for that reason so i think we got like three more stores so let's get to it all right next spot i also have not been to this goodwill in a minute and actually right over there is a yellow wall that i used to take depop pics at like maybe a year ago i'd go there like almost every week to take depop pictures so shout out that yellow wall Let's get up in this Goodwill. We got our first find. It's gonna be this vintage Tweety Bird crew neck sweatshirt, 1996. It is six bucks, extra large. Definitely gonna grab that. Probably like a $30 sweater or so. So we're definitely gonna be picking that up. All right, just this one thing. We're gonna head out to the next store. But I'm stoked I've at least found something at every store. So that is a good sign. This is honestly probably like a $30 crew neck, so I'm stuck on that. My hair is crazy. Don't mind my hair. All right. Okay, we've got something at almost every store. I think we didn't get something at one store. I'm going to take a lunch break now, I think. So I will show you guys what I'm having for lunch. All right, we got this seitan steak sandwich for lunch and this live soda lemon lime with probiotic. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like this. And then also I realized this has mustard on it and I hate mustard, but we're gonna try it. I think I've actually had this before. I know it's pretty good. So we're gonna try this and then I will try this. I'll give you guys a quick review. And we're just chilling on lunch. And then we have, I think two more stores to go to and then we're done. So let's get it. Yo, this angle is absolutely terrible, but it's gonna have to do, all right, we're gonna try this soda really quick. Give you guys a live review. It has probiotics in it and it is certified vegan. <sighs> kind of scared, let's see. I honestly hate like sparkling water, but this says soda, so we'll see. And it was a dollar, so not that big of a waste. Cheers. pretty good it honestly just tastes like seven up but like without a lot of the flavor so it's like 20 percent seven up it's pretty good for a dollar and it's probably like way healthier for you so i'm down with that all right just sanitize the hands let's pop open this to get this sandwich i hope there's not a lot of mustard on it i don't know 
I don't know if this is looking good. Let's have a bite. It's good. The seitan is like hella thick. Like that's a big piece of seitan. If you don't know what seitan is, it's like wheat meat. So it's made out of wheat and it's vegan. Pretty good. Anyways, back to thrifting. All right, two more stops today and then I'm calling it. Last Goodwill of the day. ton of these are the mountain teas but they're all really big sizes but got this like liquid blue one too patriotic for me got this one too three XL sounds older but I don't know I'll hold on to it all right I brought these right here to show you guys really quick but this is definitely the best find of the day I think it's a double XL yeah, double XL, this Men in Black Alien Attack, Universal Studios, tie-dye tea. I saw a medium on eBay for like 70, so that's a really good find. Still not sure if I'm gonna grab these two. They're both like four or five bucks each, not sure. And then I'm gonna grab this. It's five bucks, it's a newer, it's a Harley tea, but honestly, I would pay five bucks if I was buying one wholesale and I'll sell it for like 20, so definitely gonna scoop that. Okay, I turned around and I found this Patagonia like nano puffer jacket and it is $25, but that's still a really good deal because these can sell for like 60, 70 plus. But I'm super glad that I checked it out before I went up to buy it because it has a slit right here and then definitely another one right here that they tried to patch, even damaged maybe 40 bucks or so, but I don't want to risk it for spending $25 on it. So I was honestly super stoked and thought I came up but now I know why it is still here because it is damaged. So come on, $25 for damaged Patagonia. I know it's Patagonia. Retail on these is probably like close to a hundred or so, but like, yeah, I'm just not gonna risk it. So I think I'm actually gonna sacrifice these two animal teas to get the Patagonia. Even with the damage, I think it could be repaired or sold. So yeah, I'm gonna invest the $25 into it. I don't know if it's a good investment. I just know nano puffers can go for a decent amount and I talked to my friend about it and he thinks that I should still get it. So I'm gonna get it and put these back. Okay, so yeah, I ended up grabbing the Patagonia, honestly. And as I was walking around with it, contemplating it, some like literal dad came up to me and he was like, dude, those jackets are so expensive. Like, and I showed him the damage on it and he's like, oh, you could patch it up easy. So it's my size. So for personal, honestly, I'll probably keep it and wear it a little bit. It is cold season right now. I don't have a Patagonia and they're super nice jackets. I know they retail for like over a hundred, I think. I saw one sell on bid that had some patch damage on it for 70 and it was a size small. So like, even if I get like 40 or 50 with the holes how they are like i'll probably just end up selling it but for now i'm not sure i put a vote on my instagram story do you think i should buy it yes or no normally when i do that i still buy it anyways because people are always interested then they'll be like oh well, how much do you want for it so i ended up buying it it was 37 bucks i think for three things i got the patagonia i got that harley that i showed you guys and then i got that men in black like kind of it almost looks like a liquid blue tea and honestly this thing is sick like i said i saw a medium on ebay for i think like 50 or 70 bucks so so this is a double XL. I'll probably charge at least like 50, 60 for it. So pretty good pickups. Honestly, I've only been let down by one store today. In this store, I have legitimately never found anything here. This Goodwill, I've been to maybe five or so times. It's kind of far away from me, so I don't normally go here. But every single time I've gone, I've never found anything. So I guess the thrift gods are on my side today and we have one more store. Let's go to it now and come up one more time. Okay, I've only found one thing so far, this vintage like Kauai Hawaii tea, but something really funny happened. I'll tell you guys when I get outside, there's a lot of people in here. I'm gonna do one more look around and then head out. But yeah, not much, but I don't wanna leave without one thing. So we're gonna take this at least. I think it's 350, 350 for a vintage like Hawaii tea. 
throwing back print, pretty cool. So the only thing that I got in there was this vintage crazy shirt, Hawaii kawaii tee. I just really like the colors on it, the front and back print. It was like 380 after tax. Honestly, I'll probably get like 20 ship for it on my Depop. So I thought that it was worth it to grab this one last piece so that we would at least keep our streak going. But while I was in there, this guy was shopping on the other side of the racks for me. And he like looked up at me and kept looking. And then he looked up at me again and he was like, hey, sorry to bother you. And I was like, what's up? And he's like, are you Loveless Vintage? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, oh, that's so cool, man. I recognize you from Depop. He was like, I recognize your hair. So yeah, I follow you on Depop. What's up? And I was like, what's up, dude? And he's like, well, good luck. And then he just left. And I was like, that's kind of funny. I've only been recognized like thrifting like once or twice, but it was just funny that he recognized me from Depop nonetheless. Like, I feel like people have asked me before if I make YouTube videos, that's what's happened before. People are like, do you make YouTube videos? And I was like, yes. And they're like, are you Loveless Vintage? And I'm like, yes, but I've never had anyone recognize me just off of Depop. So that was kind of funny. He was super nice though, but there were a ton of people in that store and I'm getting tired. It's like almost four o'clock or it is four o'clock. So I need to get home and I will show you guys everything that I got and what I hope to sell them for and everything. So let's go home now. Okay, what is up? I am home now and first off, I want you guys to guess how much do you think I spent thrifting today? I'm gonna give you guys like a few seconds to pause. How much do you think that I spent today? Do you wanna tell me something? You look like you wanna tell me something. $100.63. Oh my God! Honestly, when I was driving home, I was like, damn, I probably spent like $100 thrifting today. Yup, I spent $100.63 on everything that I got here today. I'm gonna show you guys everything I got. I'm not really gonna go in any particular order, but I will tell you guys what I paid for them and what I expect to get out of them. So let's just get right into it. The first item, which was the last item of the day, we got this Hawaii, I believe. It says Kawaii. Yeah, Kawaii. It's like this marbled kind of tie-dye vintage tee front and back print. I really like the front and back print and the color. This was $349. I think after tax, it was like $380 or something. And I expect to get like $20 shipped on my Depop page for this piece right here. Next, let's do this Men in Black tee. This tee is so dope. Like I said, I only saw, I think, a medium on eBay. This is a double XL. And I saw people selling just the extra large black ones. So not the like cool tie-dyed ones. I saw people selling them for anywhere from like 40 to 50. So I honestly think this is probably like a 60 plus dollar shirt. It is kind of big, but still I did have a lot of DMs about this and I haven't really got back to anybody yet because I've been thrifting for like eight hours in a row and then I'm actually doing an Instagram live right after this. So follow my Instagram. I do Instagram live auctions, $1 auctions almost every week. So yeah, go check me out. But I am about to do that right after I'm done filming this. So I haven't got back to anybody today, but I expect this to at least sell for like $50. Next, we got that new age Harley Davidson. I think this is from like 2014 or 2016. It says 2015 front and back print. This was $5. But like I said, if I buy wholesale from people, and I buy Harley tees, I normally spend $5 a piece. So I was fine spending $5 for this at a Goodwill. I'll probably get $20 for this tee. Next, we got this Drake Revenge Summer 16 Tour Long Sleeve. It is a size medium. I paid $5 for it. And I expect to honestly probably get like $40 to $50 for this. I saw a lot of them priced pretty high on Depop. So yeah, honestly, I think minimum will probably get like $35, $40 for this. In that same store, I got this really cool Reno know like skyline front and back wrap around print tee it's a vintage tee size large on this anvil blank it is single stitch and i paid five dollars for it probably gonna get around twenty dollars for it on my depop page i also picked up this vhs for my roommate it is called house it's a horror movie i actually haven't seen this one i don't know if he's seen it either but he doesn't have it and he has a really cool horror vhs collection so i got this for him it was a dollar this honestly was probably one of the coolest things i found today and i do need to do some more research search on it. I actually just saw a tag on the bottom of it. Let me check this out really quick. It's definitely a European tee because this tag is all in a different language. And like I said in one of the previous clips, I saw a shirt from their 2002 album that looked a lot like this. It was a big all over print one, sell for like $200 on eBay. It was or best offer. So probably just like graciously $100. Let's say it sold for $100. So I'm honestly expecting probably to get at least 
50 or so for this. It seems like it's like a large. I already had some people interested in it, but I'm sure once I say uh, $100, they're probably not gonna want it, but that's what one sold for on eBay, so that's probably what I'll shoot for. Still a really, really cool tee and a really, really cool band. If you're into death metal or anything like that, check them out, Behemoth, they're really dope. This was a single find out of Goodwill. We got this vintage 1996 Tweety Bird. I really like the colors. They're just kind of like a muted green, orange, and then the yellow of the Tweety Bird. Size XL, this was $6. I think after tax, it was like seven something, but I'll probably get like $30 for this on my Depop. We got another sweater. What one is this? This is the banana slugs. And like I said, it does have a pretty big stain. Let's see if you guys can see it. Yeah, it does have a pretty big stain there. I didn't see a lot of crew neck sweaters. I think I only saw one and it was up for like $50. So I'm expecting at least to get like 30, even with the stain. I did spend $7.99. I think after tax, it was like almost $9 for this. It's a double XL, but it is vintage from 1997. And like I said, in Pulp Fiction, he did wear a t-shirt of this and it's become super popular ever since then. And people want these pieces. So I'm expecting at least $30, but probably going to shoot for a little bit more for this. This was the Patagonia Nano Puffer. I ended up getting it. It's funny. I put up a poll on my story. Should I get it? Yes or no? And right now I think like 60% of people said no. But also the funny thing is, is multiple people that are resellers hit me up and they're like, if people are voting no, they don't understand how much these go for. And also that you can get them fixed for free apparently. So I did have people confirm that you can get small rips and stuff like these fixed from Patagonia directly, I believe. If you guys know more, you can school me in the comments or whatever, but I did have like three different people confirm that they will fix things like this for free or for a small charge. So for a size large, Patagonia Nano Puffer-esque puffer jacket that's my size also. $25 is not bad. I did have a friend say that I could at least probably get 80 to 100 for it. So like I said, it does. I actually haven't tried it on, so let me try it on right now. And yeah, if anything, I will just keep this for myself. Yeah, it's a great fit and they're super, super warm and they're really expensive. Retail is really high. And honestly, these cuts are really small and pretty straight. So if anything, I could probably just sew them or get my mom to help me sew them. Shout out my mom. But yeah, this is, I think for $25, a pretty good deal. So I decided to grab it. It was the most I spent on the item today. And I honestly don't really like spending that much in a single item in a thrift store, but Hey, what are you gonna do? And the last thing that I got is this sack from that thrift store that I did not know existed. And it just kind of caught me off the side of the road and I decided to stop in. They were super nice and I'm super glad that I stopped in. I got this reincarnation horror film. It's from the director of The Grudge and it's actually on my watch list. So I've been wanting to watch this and it was $1. I got this super sick color blocked button up like cowboy shirt. Man, this thing is cool. It was $9. They weren't negotiable on the prices. That's totally fine. I didn't even ask them. They just told me when I came in that if tags were a certain color, they weren't negotiable, but they did say if anything else in the store, they were negotiable in price and they would do bundle deals. So that was really cool. But everything I grabbed, of course, was not negotiable in the price. But like I said, I was totally fine paying $9 for this. I really think I could probably get 30 plus on Depop. It's super, super sick. I think it's just like a fun and funky piece that someone would be really into. So I was stoked to find that. Here's another button up that I got. It looks a lot like a Wrangler and I just really, really like the colors. It is a size small I think but honestly this would probably fit me I'm just gonna try it on right now yeah this doesn't fit me like too small it's at least good enough to model but yeah I really really like the colors of this one and this one was six dollars I'll probably put it up for like 25 or 30 on my Depop and then the last item of the day was this polo sport spell out flag tee this is a double XL it was eight dollars I think I think it was $8, which is not a bad price. I honestly think these go for at least $30. So I was fine spending eight. Also just wanted to support that little store. They were really, really nice. And that is everything that I got today for $100.63. I forget what it was. It was like $100, but yeah, pretty good day. I honestly think I'm gonna do some more retail store thrifting videos. People have already said that they really enjoy when I do retail store thrifting videos. So I'm definitely gonna keep it up. I've been having way more luck than I normally do. And I think it's honestly just being super consistent and going as much as you can. So again, if you guys like this video, drop a like and drop a comment. I try to respond to all the comments. Follow me on Instagram at loveless.vintage. I'm posting stuff that I find in the thrift every single day there. I also host $1 starting bid live auctions like almost every week now, but I'm super active on my Instagram and I'm trying to post one video every single week this year for 2021. So again, thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the content. Yo, I almost forgot. I totally ended the video without saying thank you to all you guys that do subscribe. 
I just hit 6,000 subscribers. Seriously, thank you guys so much. My goal this year is 15,000 subscribers. It's pretty out there, but I'm gonna keep it going with videos every single week. So I really appreciate you guys for subscribing. Like I said, hit that subscribe button. More videos are coming soon. This is Jackson with Loveless Vintage. I appreciate all you guys. Peace out.